So, Alison, would you, would you say a little bit more about the, the projects you've been doing in the past or in the last year or so? Yeah, so um, uh, the Weird Ways Art Collaborative has uh, produced, I think this is our fourth project over the last year, and as I was saying, we, we sort of f were founded last year. Um, we first produced uh, the Black Christmas Tree. This is a sculpture which we produced by Richard Clark, which w we was, was at the uh, Yule Ball last year the, at the Phoenix, um, the steampunk Yule Ball. And it was, it was basically uh, a kind of inversion of the traditional Christmas tree in that it was <clears throat> black and uh, the idea was to rather than writing down positive wishes or positive thoughts it was to write down maybe things which weren't so positive to have to have an opportunity during Christmas to sort of actually be able to express these more darker thoughts or um, worries or concerns about, about Christmas. Because a lot of people feel at Christmas, oh, it's such a happy time. And it, it, it makes a lot of people who aren't feeling that happy even more depressed. And I think that's what Richard uh, was you know, wanted to wanted to uh, talk about with his with his uh, sculpture. So we put this up at the Yule Ball, and we had little. It was you know sort of decorated. We had like a skull on top, and so it was it was quite gothic. And we uh, we had little pieces of paper. And, and, and pencils and everything there and Richard was there um, explaining everything and uh, asking people to you know, people say well what is it and obviously we had a little sign explaining it and Richard um, then it, you know people were given the opportunity to write down you know things like so some, some people wrote things like um, my wife has cancer and it's not a very good Christmas you know or my my partner died at Christmas you know five years ago and every year I remember it things like that people had written down on these little piece of paper and then tied them onto the Christmas tree the the black tree so um, I think people really liked it I, it was it was quite a good sculpture and we photographed it and we photographed all the cards as well so we 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 kept all the cards and we, we photographed them all and so we have a record of it <coughs> um, and then um, in February last year, we produced the uh, Exeter Light Festival Wassail. So we, uh, this was a, a, a procession through the streets. We did uh, a town, a traditional town wassail, which is actually a Cornish, more of a Cornish tradition. But it's a wassail, which instead of being in an in an orchard, is uh, in in the town, and it goes to the community places of the town, and then it's this ritual of like. Uh, pouring the mead on the uh, the, the wassail, the um, <clears throat> wassail or mead or whatever it is, like cider on the ground, uh, and and or offering it to the o owner or manager or the person responsible for for that community place. Right. Um, so we we did that in Exeter. We had uh, Jackie Juno was very kindly um, uh, had the, the 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 like leading it and taking us through the streets. Jackie Juno, who's the bard of Exeter. Uh, and uh, well, the, the grand part of Exeter actually, and uh, yeah, yeah, it was great. So we started at the Sidwell Centre. It was a benefit for the Sidwell Centre. Uh, we so we tried to raise some money uh, for them as well. So started at the Sidwell Centre and then went to like a few different pubs, and then it stopped at the Phoenix, and uh, it ended up at the Bike Shed. And then we had like a closing ritual at the Bike Shed. <clears throat> So hopefully we're going to do that again this year, actually. So that's something which we want to make as like a regular tradition. That was the second year that we did it. Uh, but last year, uh, but the year before we had done it in like Yoford. It's a very small town. So I decided people were like, where is it? I'm like, I, I, you know, I don't know. It's a very small town. So we decided to move it to Exeter because Exeter doesn't have a wassail. <clears throat> so, um, yeah, that was great. That was in February. And then in April, we produced the Dead Dolls Cabaret. And that was at Arcade. And that was a cabaret show with comedy and dancing and singing. And we're going to do it again. It's going to happen again at, um, on October 28th at the Phoenix. We're going to have a Halloween show, The Dead Dolls Cabaret of Horror. And that's going to be our next project after the um, after the Bear the Burden project at the Street Arts Festival on Saturday. So, Right. Well, it's a, it's a wide range of, of things. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's, a, it's, an, it's an art, it's an experimental art collaborative, Weird Ways Art Collaborative. So it's not just theatre or performance. It's also visual art. And uh, we, we're going to make a short film as well, actually, because we, we are going to be performing at the Yule Ball this year as well. So we're going to make, um, we have a plan to make a short film for uh, for that performance. So, yeah, I, I would say it's, it's I would say we're trying to include as many different arts as possible and to collaborate with each other and with other members of the community. 
So if you want to find out more about our project, you can uh, find us on Facebook at uh, www.facebook.com slash weirdwaysart. And our project on Saturday is called Burden to Bear. <coughs> it's going to be starting at the cathedral at around 12.30 and going around uh, the high street and into Prince's Hand. Back to the cathedral, probably until around 4 o'clock. So <coughs> hope some of the listeners can catch us. Okay, well that's great, and and really the so- social media is the best way to find out about other other projects that are going to be part of. I Saturday. think so. Yeah, I think so as well. It's it's the Exeter Street Arts Festival. It's all day uh, this Saturday, and if you look at the flyer which we have here, it's live music, street theatre, food workshops. It's in the city centre by the quayside at the Exeter Phoenix, and it's generally uh, the, the the main event is 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. The after party, which is at the Phoenix, um, it's uh, which is at eight. 8 p.m. and it's going all the way till 3 a.m. So there's going to be a great after party. Our sculptures are going to be there um, at the Phoenix during the after party, in which there is um, a number of uh, DJs and other exciting things happening uh, during the after party. And um, yeah, just basically, there's loads of music happening um, all around Exeter on Saturday. Uh, for instance, like just looking at this flyer, like, you know, there's the uh, there's a main stage outside at the Princess Hay. Um, there's the Bowling Green, uh, there's uh, Buskers in Gandhi Street, there's something going on at the Sidwell Center, there's going to be people outside Boots. Um, and if you go around town and look for these flyers, you can see all the things, different things happening, as well as um, going on online. Um, so there's, uh, it's also it's on Facebook, there's a uh, an event page for it on Facebook, so you can also check that out. Um, but there's also going to be apparently so we're we're carrying stuff around in the street. But there's also um, another group uh, that that are going to be carrying giant puppets around in the street or something. I think. I think it's a I caterpillar. Heard, yeah, uh, there's going to be a giant caterpillar somewhere, and I heard something about other other giant puppets that are going to be walking around on the high street as part of the as part of the day. So I think it's going to be pretty good. Okay. Well, Alison, thank you. Thanks thank for you. coming in. Thank you very much.